right, hey guys, ignore how kind of dark it is around here. Um, if I turn the light on, then this light that's just above my head beams down and you actually can't see anything. Um, it's come to my attention, um, I believe, that one of my favorite YouTubers does not know how to French braid, and I've got your back, girl. Here is a quick and easy tutorial on how to French braid your hair. First, you take your two fingers and you go like this, and you just grab this little middle section of hair right here. Then you want to grab, you take your finger and go to the back of where you grabbed and grab this side section here. So now you got two. Next, you want to do the same thing on this side. So just go under like this and then put my finger to the back of the middle piece and pull over. So that way I'm getting the same size sections. Then you want to take your hair, your three pieces, and braid them as normal. So that middle piece comes right back to the middle. So you technically braid it twice. Then you can even leave it a little bit loose if you want to. You can tighten it. You can do whatever you want. Then you do the same kind of thing. I like to start with the sides again, not the middle this time. <clears throat> so I come over and I come down from this back piece here so that I'm getting a good section and then you pull the section apart. I like to put it in my thumb here. I don't know if you can see that. It's underneath. But my thumb is not holding any other hair at this moment, so that works. So then I take this side piece here, the one that we braided in, the one that's automatically on that side after braiding, and just stick it in. You just literally put that piece you pulled up and stick it in. And then you do the same with this side. You just grab about the same size piece, bring your finger down from the back so you're getting about the same size section. And then you add it to this side piece here that you have. It does take a long, t well, not a long time, but a little while to get used to the feeling of holding all of this weirdly in your hands. And then uh, for the back middle portion, I just pulled a middle piece to the side in this hand this side piece here and the other side piece in this palm. And then I can feel, because I took both side sections, I can feel where there's middle hair left in the section. So I just pull it up and then, <laughs> you can't even see it, pull it up and I go under it and grab it with my thumb like this. You can see that a little bit. And then just add it to this middle piece. Plain and simple, just add it in. And then you braid your pieces again, as you would normally, side to side, till that middle piece is right back to the middle again. And then you repeat the step that you just did. You grab your side pieces, like so, and stick it, drop it into the side piece of the braid, just like so. So now I still have three pieces of hair only that I'm holding because I dropped that piece that I'm holding into the middle or into the side, sorry. And then this piece over and into this side piece that I have sitting here for my braid. And then again, because I did both side pieces, I can feel where there is hair left in the middle section. And I just grab some of that and separate with one hand using my thumb. So I always use my thumb. It's always free, usually. So if I pull it up, the middle piece up with the two fingers on this hand, I can use my thumb to separate whatever is underneath and then I just add it to that middle piece. And now I have my three sections of hair again. And then you just go about and braid your three sections until that middle piece is back in the middle. And eventually you will have this beautiful French braid that goes all the way down if you keep doing that until you have no more hair that you can add into the braid. If I did it all the way down and added all of this in, eventually you'll be left with um, a braid that's extremely long because my hair is very long. So I have to, once I get to my neck and there's no more to add in, I pull it over to the side and then I just keep braiding as a normal braid because you'll just be left with three pieces of hair. So that was a five-minute how to French braid tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.